I upgraded my 3D print studio. Let's check it out. All right, guys. My name is Blake. This is Hobby Talk Army. Um, over here on the right side of my desk, I've got my little uh, scale garage, 10th scale garage set up here with my RC drift car, some prints that I've done, and then keep going this way. That's going to be a door. Just haven't whipped that up yet. A uh, little bit of a mess back there. But then we moved the FDM printer over on this side just to get everything on the back wall here. I have an Ender 3 V2 with some upgrades. I've got the aluminum extruder. Um, printed out some cable sleeve stuff. Looks pretty good. I need to get a new Bowden tube soon. And then I actually flipped the bed that it comes with and I've been printing on glass just to get a smooth first layer. I kind of like it. It's a bit of a struggle to get the parts off, but other than that, it looks great. I also use this uh, heat box or dry box, whatever you want to call it, by Sunlu. Um, it's digital on the front. You can set the temperature and how long uh, you want it on for. Works great. It's got a couple rollers in there. I'll have a link down below for that as well as the printers. Um, then today, ended up moving this old uh, box around and mounted my outlet on the side here to get everything hooked up. And these are the new setup for resin printing. I've got a Anycubic Mono X uh, 6K. So we got the large one there. And this is gonna help me do a lot more than what I was able to do on the little Elegoo uh, Mars. So very, very excited for this. We've got like a 9.2 inch print surface just massive guys so stay tuned i'll be doing a lot of videos on this uh, however for now this is just an update on what the shop looks like right next to it we've got the wash and cure station um, this is really sweet you can hold like i think almost two liters of your solution i like to use 99 percent um, isopropyl alcohol so i gotta pick some of that up fill up the container and then it works on a magnet and you can just spin it or turn it on it spins it cleans your parts at the same time you've got a curing light on the back so you take the bucket out and then you can turn the curing light on and it'll cure your part as well tons of videos on YouTube guys on walkthroughs how to use them unboxing I'm not gonna do that just showing you an update of my place so over there we got the headquarters where I build stuff uh, bring my laptop down in here draw stuff on CAD get stuff printed, prototype it on the FDM, get it finalized, and then we'll print it on the resin printers here. And then over here, uh, we've just got some of the stuff that I collect. So some bodies that I've painted up for my RC drift cars and some cool Hot Wheels that I've collected over the years. And that's pretty much it, guys. Just wanted to make a quick update and show you the new stuff around here. Stay tuned because there's a lot of new stuff I'm going to be whipping up on this printer. I'm super excited. Let me know down in the comments what you think, what I should print, and uh, have a great day. God bless. Jesus loves you. Peace.